All right. If you are looking for a cool gift idea or maybe even some place to de-stress from all of the shopping, new place that you might, might not deck out, it is called Vino 100, located at 3355 Briar Field in Maumee. Ryan Vetter takes us inside in this week's Around Town. Today I'm on the road in Maumee, Ohio. Now this is a place that is very near and dear to my palate because I love wine. We are at Vino 100. We're here with George, the owner. This is a nice place in here. Well, you've got all kinds of wines in here. Yeah, our uh, whole concept is 100 great wines for $25 or less. Um, we've taken that one step further and uh, we moved next door and we put our wines up front and then we've opened a uh, wine bar with full uh, spirits, beer and, and uh, food service. And one thing that I found kind of unique about this place is it's not your everyday brand wine you'd find at a, at a big box store or at a supermarket. I mean, you have some different specialty wines in here. We put some more comfort wines in, but for the most part, we're real kind of boutique-y. We, we try to find the wines that are a great value for the consumer um, that you don't get to see every day. Can you recommend a wine that would go with the dinner? Oh, yeah, most certainly. We, uh, uh, a lot of people focus on the food, but you really need to focus on the way it's prepared. You know, if, you, uh, if you're doing chicken, people say, well, I'm having chicken. Okay, that's great. And normally that's a white meat with a white wine. But how are you preparing the chicken? Are you going to just bake the chicken? Well, then maybe you want to go with a Chardonnay. But if you're actually putting it on the grill, okay, then maybe you want to go with a Shiraz if you're putting some barbecue sauce on it or a Merlot or something. We uh, suggest a wine based on not only how the food's being prepared, but uh, what we think that customer's uh, wine experience is and where we think they are on the scale from fruity to dry. And for all those people that don't like wine, they also have beer. This is local beer from the Mommy Bay Brewing Company, double IPA, and uh, it smells good. Hold on one second. So now we move back into the bar lounge portion of this. This place is really nice in here. Thank you. Uh, probably took a lot of work to get this thing up, huh? Yeah, uh, we actually started planning on this about a, uh, about a year ago. What we did, uh, which is kind of unique, we're actually in the wine business, not in the restaurant business. We called Owens College up. Um, here in Perrysburg and, and we asked them, we said, we'd like to start a restaurant. Uh, is there a way you guys can help us? And they had come in and, and uh, gave us four interns and uh, culinary students. And uh, they put it all together. Uh, we had some help from a consultant outside. And uh, so that's, that's who we hire right now. So we're using all culinary students from uh, Owens College, uh, all local talent, all really good kids. What they've come up with, I think, is a perfect menu for a, uh, a wine bar type setting, a, a wine lounge setting. We're really paying attention to what our customers want. And regardless of what we think a wine bar should be, we're, we're really listening to uh, what Toledo has to say as well. So if you're in the mood for some wine, or some food, or whatever you want. Vino 100, we're out here in Maumee, Ohio. I'm going to put more information on my website, Around Town with Ryan Vetter, on Facebook, also on our uh, station website, WTOL.com. You can pick up a nice Toledo picture on the wine for your New Year's Eve party or for a gift for uh, somebody from out of town for Christmas. I am on the road in Maumee. I'm Ryan Vetter. This is News 11. Well, if you have a place in mind, that you would like to uh, send Ryan. I think we, um, you know, we keep sending him to places that are really too nice. Do you, by <laughs> chance, own some kind of alligator farm or something that we can send him to? No. <laughs> Just send us an email at yourdayatwtol.com. And if we can have some fun with him and make him actually work, <laughs> that would be nice, too. Boy, if so. somebody comes forward with an alligator farm here locally, I'm going to be impressed. You never know. Salmon farm, you know, maybe. <laughs> never mind. And